Hey, Mitch. How you doing this morning? I'm doing good. We've been uh, having a John Prine-themed show today. John Prine uh, sadly passed away yesterday, but yeah. it is great to be able to honor him and his music, and so I've basically been playing like three and a half hours worth of John Prine music. <laughs> I know. I've been listening. Oh, have you? Do you like John Prine? Yeah. Who doesn't? I know. Well, good thinking, because even if you didn't, you you would just have to go ahead. The wrong crowd. You just have to say you loved him, even if you didn't. But uh, (laughs) I'm sure I'm sure you do. Uh, So uh, so what I wanted to talk to you today about is you are um, the CEO of the uh, Eureka Chamber of Commerce. And I know that everyone is dealing with this COVID-19 crisis in different ways and local businesses are um, having a little bit of trouble. What resources could our local businesses uh, be looking at right now in this kind of unprecedented time? You know, Mitch, these times are unprecedented. And, you know, it's absolutely wonderful to see how our community has come together. Just letting you know, normally at this time in the morning, I'm on a resilience committee, which consists of a lot of the business and uh, government and community leaders, sometimes between 20 and 40 people. We're all pooling our resources. And we've come up with a really good and clear strategy that first of all, uh, to phone the COVID information line for the um, Humboldt County um, Office of Emergency Services. That uh, phone number can be found on our website, www.eurekachamber.com. We're also doing a lot of uh, social media posts and uh, supporting to different online services. The Small Business Development Centre is who uh, this group has decided that we're using to get a strong and concise message through for resilience, whether it's loan programs or the payment, <clears throat> excuse me, payment protection program. And then on the other side, a lot of our businesses are using this time to recreate themselves, look at different ways they can do business, whether it's uh, going online and selling their services which then they're working on their websites and social media postings. I know our team is, uh, I have two really great marketing experts in my office. That's not what they were employed for, but they've taken over that. They're helping our local businesses improve their Facebook, um, look the look of their web pages, what they might be able to do. Uh, so there's lots and lots of resources out there, whether it's through the county, the chambers of commerce throughout our county, um, through the Small Business Development Centre with loan programs and advice. Uh, so there's lots out there. Well, that's good because I know that there's a lot of information going on uh, being put out there about um, loans coming for small businesses and uh, different like payroll protection things. And it can kind of be confusing because there's a lot of information um, so it's good to know where people can turn to. And the Eureka Chamber of Commerce, um, you guys are going to be here for local business? Absolutely, 100%. Uh, I know our team, everything's, everything that was once is now not. So every phone call, I'm personally phoning every single one of our member businesses. I'm here as a resource for all businesses. I can help. I've been a businesswoman and I sat back and I thought, what would I want my community to do for me? And that's how we're proceeding at the Chamber. You call me, I can point you in the right direction, I can help with the things that I can control. I've got my team behind me, there's four of us in the office now, we have an an HSU intern, so we're doing a lot of promotion and getting the message out for what businesses are doing. So we are just in total advocacy of our businesses and supporting them. Well, that's good. Are there any... um stories of anyone who has reached out and kind of changed what you were saying and you know we're kind of in this time of everybody taking this time to better themselves in different ways you were talking about social media um, online Mm -hmm. platforms have there been any local businesses that you think are really shining through in this time you know I don't want to pick out just one but I'll pick a few categories I look at our groceries um, and you know things are starting to it's harder to fill the shelves these days uh, because, you know, throughout the nation, there's a little bit of a struggle getting some products. But I know I've spoken to all of our grocers and they've employed more people so that everything is 
disinfected and the, the shelves are stocked. They're doing home deliveries. Uh, they're putting purse packs up between their clients. You know, and these are happening in every different ones of the stores and, and I know that they're taking their role so seriously. Then I look at our restaurants that, you know, they're the heartbeat. That's the things that places we go and we want these businesses to thrive and they're, you know, they've got all these amazing things from home deliveries, from setting themselves up on, uh, you know, the, the delivery services to have curbside pickup. You know, those two are amazing. I'm looking at our beauty areas that, you know, they just can't do anything. So um, they're looking at pre-booking and pre-paying for future treatments because I know that's one of the first places I'm going to need to go when, uh, when I can get out of the house. <laughs> right. Well, so that that is something that people are talking about is uh, using gift cards and uh, booking in the future. Is that something, would you say that's the best way that somebody who is sheltering in place but wants to support local business, would you say that that's the best way that they could do it is by purchasing gift cards? That's, that's one of the ways. Um, you know, purchasing uh, now of the shops that can do that. If it's a beauty place, you can buy your products now and do home service. I'm looking at some of our our businesses. They're doing home remedies, so you can do. We've got the time to do that quite often now. So, you know, go out and buy the products online or buy gift cards. Um, purchase something from those businesses because they're our friends and their neighbours and our families out there. That's our community. That's who. We run into at the at the shops. That's who we see on the the soccer fields and sporting events and concerts and fundraisers. All of these businesses that have supported us so much, this community. Now it's our time for those that are able. Whatever you can, be resourceful. Think about it. Gift cards, buying online, doing a delivery or pickup. Uh, I encourage everybody that can find something to do anything to support our businesses. Oh, you made me long for the days you said concerts and soccer fields and shops. And I thought, oh, it seems like it's so far in the past and so far in the future in some ways. It feels like we are really in this place at this moment, but we will be on the other side of it. And do you think that businesses in some ways could find a way to grow from this? Is there a silver lining that you think businesses can take after the shelter in place event is over? Um and maybe refine the way that they do things? Do you see this as an opportunity at all? You know, I, I've watched this, and, you know, I'll share a couple of examples. Some businesses that can't be open, uh, they've reached out to us and said, could you help me with our website and our social media? How do we make that look good? What do we do to get more people to visit our stores? So a lot of businesses that you're so busy doing business that you forget about those important things like marketing and advertising and, you know, having a, a social media page and a web page and reaching out to, to places like the Loco and your television stations and and papers here, the Time Standard, a lot of people are offering a lot of things. So we're helping a lot of our businesses by developing some graphics for them. These are things that people would have never had the time to do before. So they're keeping busy by updating their websites and and their, the way they're thinking on their business instead of working in their business. So I can see that, <clears throat> excuse me, we can only be stronger on the other end coming out of this because we've seen, the world has seen uh, problems and crises before and we've always uh, been resilient. And this county above all is a very resilient county. So I see that we're going to come out of this stronger and better and, and more closely connected. I like that you said uh thinking on your business instead of in your business, because it's true. There are lots of things um, that have happened to us in the past, but this is a unique crisis, if you will, because we're all at home and we all have time right now to be doing this. Business owners um, have the time to, to do yourself, this. Then, Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm, I'm like in the divorce courts almost if I don't stay off my laptop and phone. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we're all filling our times. I guess some people in um, meaningful ways, some people... No, wait, speaking of that, I did hear uh, how how one might fill their time, that you are a crazy dog lover? I am a crazy dog lady. I am yes. a crazy and dog I lady have, as well. 
I, you know, I, I did have four dogs. Um, That's I dogs. am a compulsive rescuer. I've been blocked by my husband from looking at um, different sites for rescuing. Yeah. I do sneak a little look occasionally, I have to say. <laughs> and I looked at Sequoia, Person- uh, Sequoia, Sequoia uh, Humane Society right. and they were fostering dogs. There was a couple of dogs there that I really wanted to bring into the house and thought that maybe this is not the right time. But we have uh, a golden retriever. His name's Finnegan and he's just a lover of all. I have a little uh, cockapoo that I bought from Australia. She was my my love and uh, she comes into the office with us at the chamber every day and she greets people and we call her our office stress ball. And I have another little adoptee, Madeline, and she came from Sequoia as well and she's in the office. In fact, she has been painted into the mural of our founding uh, investors for uh, Business HQ. So, yes, I would myself the crazy dog lady okay uh office dogs one of my favorite things in the world i'm currently (laughs) sitting by my dog penny uh she has her own little chair in here she actually has a little moving uh it's called like a little tuffet that she will sit on as well uh it's got its own blanket uh but i love that your dog madeline was painted into a portrait into the mural at business hq which is our office and flex workspace and incubator so She's up there for all eternity now. Oh, that just melts yeah. my heart. Melts my yeah. heart. I'm a big time fan yeah. of uh, any type of office dog. Anytime I go in and there's an office dog or a shop dog or any kind of dog, I'm like, I'm going to spend a little extra money here. I'm going to support you <laughs> for supporting there dogs. You yeah. There you go. Come in and visit me anytime. <laughs> See, there you go. So if somebody did, so, well, this is maybe not the time to be visiting. If somebody did want to get a hold of you, a local business or something like that, uh, and wanted to reach out for help, what would be the best way to get in contact with you? And it sounds like your hardworking team and your office dogs. Yeah, well, uh, first of all, we have our website, www.eurekachamber.com. We have our office phone number, 442 442- 3738. If I'm on the phone or it's busy, it'll go through to voicemail and I'm, excuse me, and I'm calling everybody back. Um, I'm approachable. I'm there for you. I'm passionate about our businesses. My team is amazing and we're up to date on all the resources. So reach out if you need assistance, if you need guidance. Uh, if you'd like just to talk about what your business is and some of your concerns, then I can push that through to make a difference. So call me, email me, go on our website. My staff and I are just there for whatever you need. Well, that's amazing because, again, in a time when there's a lot of bureaucracy going on, there's a lot of misinformation, there's a lot of uh, just a lot going on. And I think especially for small businesses, I think it could be pretty um helpful and uh, put somebody's mind at ease when they can actually talk to a person. Um, so it's it's great that you're a person and you have a team of people that uh, small businesses can talk to. So I'm sure that there's a lot that they can do uh, and we can all do together to hopefully get out the other side of this a little bit stronger. That would be, that's our, that's our aim. That's what we're working for. And I just want to appreciate uh, all of our frontline service people um, you know, from our police to fire brigade to our hospital staff, but also those people. I saw Team Challenge out yesterday cleaning the bus stops and, you know, I've gone into the grocery store and seeing how people are doing that. I'm watching how businesses have changed their practice and they've put a lot of time, effort and expense into being able to be there for our community. So I just want to thank all of those people that are looking after our community so it will be bigger and better on the other side of this. Well, good. I'm glad that we can be a little bit hopeful in this. So hopefully uh, somebody hears this and you can help them out. And I also want to thank you for saying Fire Brigade because that's adorable. Uh, yeah. <laughs> keep keep bringing in cute little uh, accents and cute words into it because Fire Brigade ah, just like put me in a great mood. It's what I needed. So <laughs> thanks so much for talking with me today and uh, thanks for what you're doing. I know that local business is really important here in Humboldt County and we cherish it. And so I cherish you for doing your best to um, help local business out in a crazy time. So reach out. Donna, you're a very approachable and nice person. You've got dogs. I've got dogs. This went great. Perfect.
team needs team done. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so thank you so much. Um, and uh, I'll play a John Prine song for you in this one. I'm going to play Ain't Hurtin' Nobody uh, because it just feels right at this moment.